Now, how'd you guys decide to separate from Stomping Ground and do BMF? That was their thing. Like, they owned Stomping Ground. I didn't own it. I was signed to it. I owned part of BMF. I didn't own Stomping Ground. Okay, so the BMF Entertainment Incorporated, I solely owned it, as a matter of fact. Like, the articles of incorporation were done by me solely. Meach's name wasn't on it, nobody else's name was on it but mine. BMF Entertainment Incorporated, the original from like 2002, I believe, or 2001. The first BMF company, official company d doing entertainment in this country is, I'm the sole proprietor of it. And so, okay. Yeah, so once they stopped doing Stomping Ground and agreed that they weren't doing their record label no more, it was some time that had passed. More of my people end up being with us and Meech, and the crew got too big, and they started calling us Meechie's boys. By the time it was about eight of us, 12 of us, they was calling us Meechie and his boys because they didn't have a name for us in Atlanta. Like I'm telling you, they wasn't even calling us BMF. They were saying Meechie and his boys because the public didn't know what BMF was. Only the that was saying they was BMF knew what BMF was. It wasn't something being promoted at that time. There was no chains like you see on the TV show. That's, that's cap. That shit is dramatized, dramatized for the TV. And BMF chains came in the 2000s, okay? Once we had an official label and we was marketing and promoting a the label, them chains was made for the record label. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't made to show, oh, we drug dealers. No, we doing music, this is the artist, these are the other artists we dealing with, and this is how we moving through with this promotion, okay? Just gave us credit, cause we were so like that and live, and it was only one rapping, and they knew that what these was really doing, the streets proclaimed that nigga, these is the truth. Yeah, it's rapping over there somewhere, but these is 30 deep, all of these look like the rapper. That's what was proclaimed you feel me? That grew bigger than any one of us. It grew bigger than me and Meech. People didn't know who what Meech looked like for, for a long time until people start figuring out or his image was out there enough. But people heard of what knew what BMF was. Oh, you talking about them that be coming to the club 50 deep and blah, 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 them niggas and them niggas and them. Yeah, they, they, they big Meech. And, yeah, well, you seen it before? Nah, man, but they say them niggas out there look, doing this and doing that. It was that type of thing, you feel me? When Meech and T kind of started falling out, you know, I think you mentioned, you know, when the wolf shit went down, everybody had to go back to their original places. I believe yeah, that the there states was a that fight, you was from. or there there was going to be a fight out in L.A. between like T's side and Meech's side of BMF. Uh, now, see, we we fell out because T ran off with some money on us one time in Texas. He ran off with the people money and left us all in the house with the mother with the tab on the tab and he left with the tab one night I don't, that's between him and his brother I don't know what that shit was about I just was in there with the Migos when they was in there looking for their money you know what I'm saying so Meech ended up having to pay these people back you know what I'm saying so, so some dudes actually came in your house and yeah they came in the crib yeah all that bull woke me up early in the morning nigga put your shoes on come in the living room yeah the homies was on the wall and shit was finna get ugly in that but Meech had to he had to do his thing. He gave them people some cars and some jewelry and shit. Like, bro, just keep giving, you know, look, sending it to me, man. Like, I'm going to pay y'all back. I'm going to get my shit straight. I'm going to pay the tab. Let me, I'll deal with my brother. Y'all don't worry about my brother. I'll deal with my brother. He saved his bro and everything. And his bro the one that did it. So we wanted to kill them. We, I couldn't understand it. Like, these, man, what the f I got my brother. Y'all don't worry about it. I'm going to deal with my brother on how I do it. All right, bro. We was trying, trying to smash these though. We wanted, we wanted blood, cuz. Like we was on them. So in LA, they. That's it, pretty dirty to leave your brother in that type of situation. So after crazy. that, in LA, try to do a home invasion when they knew something had went on at the crib a few days prior. All that shit was coming from their side. You know what I'm saying? So we were going through some shit, bro, that people don't know about. I don't want to give too much away on these shit, cause I still got a film that we working on. I gotta have me some shock value, cause it's a lot of this shit. That I'm going to say that the brothers, T and Meech, ain't going to say from their side and their production and shit. Because it might don't make them look all the best. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they is going to say somebody and they into it about it. I don't know what they got going on, but I don't be want to give away everything. I give away aspects. I say that this happened, but I ain't going to give away exactly how it happened so motherfucker can see it. You know what I'm saying? I won't, That's why I need niggas to tap into my side of the BMF and my entertainment and my film shit that I got going on as well. You know what I'm saying? Because I got the shit. It's right here in these eyes. I see more shit than a lot of with that shit. 
with the popping part of it, because Meech was in the house for a lot of that shit. He was put up. He was the boss. We was the young sprucey outside with y'all. We was the me, baby blue, bull, big cud, these shot Tito, all us. We was the out there with the bullshit. And then when it's time for dude to come to a club or step out, he nigga, he come step out in there doing his shit, nigga. Big Meech in the building. You feel me? That's how the shit went. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.